Okay, this is question 5.1, <clears throat> which is located on the fourth page of your stoichiometry chapter 9 notes. It's located right here. And part of the question is um, on the previous page. It says, burned a certain amount of methane, and you formed that much water. What was your percent yield? So percent yield is where you figure out what um, is supposed to happen and compare that to what really did happen. So to do this, you start off with your typical four, uh, four fraction um, conversion factor kind of thing. And so you burned 12.6 grams of methane. So that's our known, 12.6 grams of methane, CH4. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and make our brush. Okay, so everything in there will pertain to methane. And it's an excess of oxygen, so we know that methane was the limiting reagent. So we know that we don't really need to know how much oxygen there was, because there was too much. Okay? And <clears throat> um, so we would like to know how many grams of water should be made with this amount of grams of methane. Okay? So we put that in our unknown spot. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put all my stuff together for my water. Okay. All right, now we've got grams on top here, and we need grams on the bottom here of methane. So we look at the molar mass of methane, which is 16. Okay. And now we need to know the coefficient of methane, which was a 1. All right. And now we need to deal with water. We need the molar mass of water. The molar mass of water is 18. And now we need the coefficient of water. Okay? Alright, so when we punch that all into the calculator, it'd be 12.6 times 2 times 18 divided by 16 equals. Right? And that turned out to be 28.4 grams of H2O. And I had rounded that because I had three sig figs over here. I wanted three sig figs over here. So it's saying 12.6 grams of methane should have theoretically produced 28.4 grams of water. But it says it actually formed 22.9 grams of water. So actual yield was 22.9 grams. And our theoretical yield was 28.4 grams. And then we multiply that times 100 to get our percent yield. Okay, so punching that into the calculator, 22.9 divided by 28.4 times 100. And the answer was 80.6. And because I had three sig figs up here, both in both locations, I would like to keep um, three sig figs in my percent. Okay, now we're going to do example 5.2, which is on page 4 of your PowerPoint notes. It's located right there. And it's just really a repeat of the same thing we just did before. It's kind of just getting used to uh, taking words, word problems, and, and putting them into uh, equations. So it says, when 8, 8 grams of iron 3 oxide, which is this right here, reacts with an excess of carbon monoxide, so this is our excess, so we're not really too excited about this because we know that they had too much of this anyway. Uh, they did produce 54.3 grams of iron. Okay. All right, that was actually okay. So that's going to go right here, 54.3. All right, I'm going to write the yield. yield. All right. So um, we we're going to put our known here, 84.8 grams of of this. So Fe203 is part of the brush. <clears throat> All right, and. Uh, we want to know how much iron should be made. So how many grams iron should be made if, if we lived in a perfect world? And there's my gun here. Right. So um, I need the molar mass of Fe203. So Fe203 is 159.6. All right, and now I'm going to need the coefficient of Fe203, which is 1. All right, now I'm going to need the molar mass of Fe, 55.8. And I'm going to need the coefficient of Fe, right? Okay. So then when I punch it into the calculator, it's going to be 84.8 times 2 times 55.8 divided by 159.6 equals. <clears throat> and that number came out to be 
59.3 grams of Fe. That's what should have been made with this reaction if we lived in a perfect world. All right, so now we're going to figure out if we really made 54.3 with that was our actual yield, okay, uh, what percent um, cleanliness or just what percent uh, reaction really was there. So we put our 59.3 here times 100 equals and that number was 91.6. So when you punch it in the calculator you should end up with 91.6 there. Three sig figs because three sig figs there, three sig figs there. Okay. Alright, this last question is um, example 6.1 and it's also on page 4 for geometry notes at the bottom. And this is our sixth and final skill for this chapter. And it's uh, basically going in reverse. Uh, it's saying, like, for instance, if you had to bake a cake, uh, but you needed one cupcake to um, give to somebody in your family who uh, would not be able to, you know, they just really want some cake. So you decide you're going to make a little extra uh, so you can make one cupcake. Well, that's what this is about. It's like, how much extra do you need to make in order to um, accomplish your goal? So, um, says a driver's airbag needs 65 liters so that's our, our needed amount of, of nitrogen gas that we really do need for an airbag in a car for safety reasons okay um, but the reaction you know at the factory the reaction that you know would take this pellet to make the nitrogen gas for the airbag has only been 7 percent um, good, good at it so we would put 87 here and so that's like this, 65 over x equals 87 over 100. And when you cross multiply 65 times 100 divided by 87, x equals 74.7 um, grams of N2. So this is saying that in order to, just, excuse me, liters, liters of, of N2. All right, so uh, if we really need 65 liters, we're going to have to tend to make 74.7 .7 liters because of inefficiency, okay? So that becomes our, our known 74.7 liters of N2 gas, okay? And have our brush again. So, <clears throat> and uh, we're going to be making it from how many grams of NaN3? So NaN3 is our unknown, and it's grams. So grams of NaN3, okay? So here's our little gun, okay? All right, so it doesn't matter which side we start on uh, because we have liters on top here. We have liters on the bottom here. All right, we know the liters, excuse me, the, the number associated with liters is 22.4, all right? And we know N2 is part of the brush here, so we need a coefficient, which is 3, all right? And now Na, N3, its coefficient was 2, all right, because it's part of the gun. All right, now we need the molar mass of Na3, so we look it up. And an A in 3 is 65 grams. Okay, so we punch it in the calculator 74.7 times 2 times 65 divided by 22.4 divided by 3 equals. And we punch it into the calculator, you get an answer of 116 grams of Na in 3. So this amount of NaN3 should produce the 65 liters of N2 gas, even with the errors that are associated with labs.